So, uh, so how's this all going to work then? I mean, what's? Am, are you supposed to ask me questions or? I would say, like, just pretend like we're not here. Really, is probably the best thing. Do whatever you want to do. Hi. How you doing? Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, sorry. We're speaking a little documentary here. Yeah. Don't pay attention. They're they're like students. Okay. Uh, my mother's upstairs though, so we're have to like keep it down a bit. Okay. Wait. We're going. Uh, we're going down here, Lucy. Maybe you want to tell us how long you've been a, um, or rather how long you've been. I think Chris is trying to ask us how long you've been in the business. The business? Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh my god. That did it. <laughs> Whoa. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's only like human beings that are so arrogant so as to believe that they're better than every other kind of animal out there. And if it was so wrong to eat it, then why would it taste so good? Mm. <laughs> that's good. People who eat stew make perfect stew. See, that's the thing. You probably, I mean, it sounds obvious. There's got to be at least a hundred active serial killers in North America right now. You guys are going to be editing this, I take it. The first thing you have to realize is that they're f***ing. They're just not wired right. And I'm just like looking into the camera, right? You know what they say, every cannibal wants to be a director, right? <laughs> Often, these people are loners, but sometimes they may be surrounded by a small group of friends. Yeah, you know, it's just a beer league. It's a way to blow off some steam, you know? A bunch of regular guys out there. No one's really good. So good. Everyone writes about their crimes anyway, right? It's gonna write like a cookbook. <laughs>